Hello and welcome to HTML Lesson 3. Today I'm going to be going through tables, images and lists. To start off with, I'm going to show you that I'm not using Word any Notepad anymore. I'm using render.com. This is an online HTML editor which will allow me to type something in here and it will automatically show up in here. This is going to save a lot of time so I thought I'm, I should use this instead of Notepad. Okay, to start off with, you're going to have to diff tell the computer that this is a table and you do this by typing in this table space border equals and then you add 1 and close it off. That will then define that this is a table. Then to add a row, you put T R which stands for which stands for table row and then close it off and then in here you put T D which stands for table data. This is what you're gonna see in the cells. Then you put in wherever you like if you wanna put this in whatever then close it off with another T D oops td and then you can see that it's made a cell and then you could add another one you could just copy and paste it if you like save time row 2 and then you can see it's added another column now if you want to add another row just do the same thing again with tr and put t table data then close it off and then you'll see it's made another row and filled in the cell on the left and I could do this as many times as you want to make as big a table as you want but if you don't want the table to have borders then you could just add 0 instead of 1 and that will mean that there aren't any borders or you could just take all this bit away and leave it like this. And that also mean that there are no borders. One second, let me just move move this closer. So I could just move it like this. Okay. Now there are several types of lists, and the first one I'm going to show you is the unordered list. You do this by starting a tag off, typing in U L which stands for an ordered list then I'll close it off and then in here you define each term of the list with li which stands for list item and that's item 1 and then you could close it off with another li and then you'll see that it's bullet pointed item 1 then we could add another one if we like li item 2 close it off and then you'll add another item now the second type of list is is an ordered list this uh, allows the number items to be numbered so it's not just bullet points you start it off with ol which stands for ordered list then you do exactly the same as you did for the one before it Oops, close it off and add L I L I for list item and item one. Then you close it off with L I. And I can see that it's added a number. And if you do it again, just copy and paste it so it's faster, it'll be item two. Let's change the number. There we go. Now, the third list type is the third type is a definition list. We could actually describe the items in the list. You start off with DL, which stands for definition list. Then you close it off with DL again. Then in here you add DT for definition table. 
and then you add a item 0 then you close it off then you add dd and this is the definition for the data that we just entered this is item 0 close it off d d then you can see that it's got the first item then it's got the mean description that we wrote do the same dt item 1 close it off then describe it this is oops, the second item then close it off then you can see that it's described it now there's another list type but now there are other types of lists that you'll be using them for example if you want an ordered list with letters go to the ol tag and put in type equals put in a and then that will put letters instead of numbers or if you want it to be capital letters you just put in capital A then you'll get capital letters or if you want Roman numerals you can put capital I you'll get Roman numerals if you want small Roman numerals then just put in small i and then you'll get this so it's pretty useful now I'm going to go through images how to insert images in a website okay if you want to insert an image put in img for image then src which stands for source then equals then you enter the location of the image in here let's just close this off now you could enter an image that you have on your computer but since I'm using this online editor I don't think I'll be able to so I'll find an image on the net and then I'll put it in here now I found this picture of a PS3 which I'm going to paste in here then you can see that it's uploaded it onto the website Oops, let's just move this out of the way then you can see that it's been uploaded to the editor I'm using so images are pretty easy to use Okay, uh, and then if you like you could add an alternative name so that if someone can't see it they'll see the name of the image instead and you could do that by pressing space and then typing typing in alt equals then ps3 and then that'll make sure that if someone can't see the image which I can then they'll see the word ps3 so they know what they're missing.